everyone, Subject Zero here. Graphene is a really strong material, but as I was working on the last video, one simple question came to mind. Is there anything that is stronger than graphene? And as I did my research, I found out that there is at least two carbon-based materials that are stronger than graphene. I'm talking about carbine and graphene, but today I will only talk about carbine because graphene is only a theory, at least for now. In organic chemistry, a carbine is a general term for any compound whose molecular structure includes includes an electrically neutral carbon atom with three non-bonded electrons connected to another atom by a single bond. A carbine thus has the general formula RC3. And in this case, we will talk about something that was theorized back in the 1800s but only recently achieved in the lab. The right name is Linear Acetylenic Carbon, LAC for short. And from Wiki again, it's an allotrope with carbon with chemical structure where N is any number really. The key here is the triple bonds that make it really strong. Back in the day, like in the 1960s, it was thought to be first detected in a lab among organic molecules, but further tests concluded that it was only impurities in the sample. And all of this time, it was just that, a theory. However, recently it was actually done in a lab, and when I say recently, I'm talking about 2016. That is how hard it is to make this stuff. And to achieve this, they used nanotubes to conduct the process, which is another carbon structure that is also hard to make, so you kind of get the problem. The idea here was pretty simple, they only used carbon nanotubes to guide the process of creating the chain, sort of in the same process of the chemical vapor deposit. But the problem is that it limits the chain size, meaning that by the end of the process you're gonna get a chain that is only a hundred or maybe a thousand carbon atoms. And as we know, this is not enough to make any conclusions. However, some cleverness and the top minds in the job actually managed to get some numbers, and they are incredible to say the least. Yes, my dear viewer, we are talking about a really strong material, and scientists have concluded that it has a young modulus of 32.7 terapascal. For those of you that don't know what a young modulus is, it's a mechanical property that measures the stiffness of a solid material. It defines the relationship between stress, force per unit area, and strain, proportional deformation. When the material reaches the point of rupture, that is what they call tensile strength. So don't confuse both. So in comparison, graphene is is 2.4 terapascals, while diamonds is 1.2 and nanotubes is 1 terapascal. Now, I have to warn you, my dear viewer, that these numbers are all over the place, so just for simplicity's sakes, the numbers that you see here are the ones that I found in scientific papers. Now, just think about this, if you make a fabric out of this material of the thickness of a hair, it would stop bullets with no problem. Well, not really, but it would do a much better job than graphene. But just so doing some crazy math here, carbine is 13 times stronger than graphene and if we just make a linear calculation that means that a sheet of carbine the same thickness of graphene would be able to hold 57 kilograms talk about insane nevertheless scientists are still trying to figure out how to make more of this stuff so we can finally test it better and have more concrete numbers on its strength however one thing is for sure graphene will take over the world in a few years and carbine most likely will be used by the military if it's not already been used stay tuned for my next video where i talk about graphene and the implications of ultra strong materials like carbine for space exploration all right folks that's it we're done here